Hi, and welcome to another showcase session. I'm Michael Linke, General Manager here at the Australian Institute of Architects, and thanks for joining us on what promises to be a really interesting showcase session. Today, I'm joined by Mark Zangari. Mark is the Specification and Sales Manager at ETEX. ETEX are a new sponsor to the organisation and have recently signed up to support the Institute's Climate Action and Sustainability Task Force. Welcome, Mark. Take us through your presentation today and what ETEX is all about. Thanks, Michael. Um, yeah, so. Um, what we're going to be looking at today is we're going to be looking at Equitone, which is a through colour high density facade material. Um, so what we're going to be looking at achieving today is just understanding who is Equitone. Um, we're also going to be looking at why Equitone is suitable for your project. And then we're going to be looking at ventilator facades as well. Um, because Equitone is installed as a ventilator facade, it's a big part of what we do. Um, and I truly believe that it's we have the right climate to to um, look at ventilated facades for our buildings. So who is Equitone? So Equitone is part of the ETEX group. Um, the ETEX group is a global company and are the largest and oldest fibre cement manufacturer in the world. Um, ETEX started producing fibre cement in 1905, two years after the material was invented, and encapsulates some industry leading brands, including Eternet, Cineat and Promat. Um, in relation to Equitone, we have a fully established Australian team, including technical support, marketing. We sell through distribution who holds stock within Australia, um, which I know is a really important part for projects from our discussions with all stakeholders of the project as well. Um, so we are available to support the project all the way through from design to completion. Um, we provide design reviews to architects before tender. Uh, we also provide education to architects and builders. We train installers and we provide after sales services. Um, so it's really important for us to be involved all the way through the project because um, in terms of a success, successful installation and performance of the material, um, you know, we want to design and install to how we've tested the, the facades. So we manufacture through color high density facade panels, which are designed to be sustainable. Um, the different textures and colors allow expressive design as well. Um, our panels are low maintenance as they don't require any future painting or sealing. We have over 60 colours in five different ranges to provide options, um, including the option to use different panels and textures and colours on the same wall, being um, that the thicknesses are the same. Um, so Equitone is also designed by architects for architects as it was founded as a need for a more architecturally focused panel. So, um, you know, in, in Europe, um, the, the core was to have a more architecturally focused panel within fibre cement, which was previously used for industrial use. Um, so Equitone was created in order to do that. Uh, we keep this tradition today with focus groups with architects all around the world. So they, they do get heavily involved in you know, different textures or different colours in, in, in our ranges. So going through the range, um, this is the Equitone Lanara. So this is the newest finish in our range. Um, as you can see, it's a hammered and brushed surface finish with hydrofurbation running through the panel, which means as a, similar to a penetrating sealer, it, it runs throughout the panel itself. So um, the benefit of that is that when you cut an edge of the Equitone Lunara, you don't need to seal it. Um, it also comes in a 10 mil thicknesses and you've got two different colors within that Equitone Lunara finish. Um, our most popular finish in our range is our Equitone Tectiva. Uh, it has a sanded surface finish. And once again, it has hydrofurbation running throughout the panel, which means you don't have to seal the cut edges. Uh, you're looking at an eight mil thickness in this panel, and it comes in nine different color options as well. Um, as you can see, it gives you sort of that, you know, depending on the color you choose, you can get that concrete look um, with that model effect. In terms of the Equitone Natura, this is the oldest finish in our range. It was developed in 2004, one of the first through color fiber cement panels available in the marketplace. So it has a long history. Um, it has a surface finish, which exposes the fibers within the panel uh, and with a semi-transparent coating on the panel as well, which means that if you cut the edges, you do need to seal the cut edge, but that's the only time you need to do that. Um, it comes in an eight and 12 mil thicknesses and you've got 27 different color options. There is also an opportunity to manufacture it to a custom color as well, um, if required. Uh, this is the Equitone lines, um, and it's 
probably described as the most interesting finish in our range. Um, it is based off the manufacturing of the Equitone Tectiva, but then it has a route to create those low points um, with hydrofurbation running through the panel, which means there's no need to, to seal or, or cut uh, edges. So the high spots are at 10 mil and the low spots are at eight mil. And you've got three different color options for your Equitone lines. And finally, you've got the Equitone Pictura. Um, so this is the most similar looking finish to a painted panel um, in our range. As you can see, you get some sort of bright colors as well. Uh, it has a solid matte surface with an anti-graffiti coating. Uh, the benefit of that is that you don't have to apply a third party coating to achieve your anti-graffiti on the panel as well. And, and it's there for the lifetime of the, the panel. Um, so there's no need to reapply the anti-graffiti coating on the panel as well. It's there for the, for the lifespan. So, you know, people like the Department of Education really like that benefit when it comes to building schools. Um, it comes in an eight and 12 mil thickness and you've got 20 different color options with the opportunity to incorporate custom colors in the Equitone Pictura as well. So now we'll look at why Equitone. So the Equitone system is Codemark certified, so it can be used in type A and B constructions. Um, it, it, that being said, it, it is deemed non-combustible as it is manufactured to Australian standard 2908.2. Um, so that means we don't, you know, we don't need the Codemark certification because under the NCC, it is deemed non-combustible, so it can be used in those situations anyway. So we've gone one step further to achieve Codemark certification just to have everything on the one document to make it nice and easy for specifiers. Um, this also incorporates our tested weatherproofing options. So we've got 10 different wall configurations which have been tested to meet the performance requirements of FP 1.4. Um, so you have got that under that Codemark certif certificate as well. Now with facades, durability is extremely important. I mean, that's the first layer of defense for your building. Um, so I'm just gonna have a quick look at why Equitone is durable. And to understand that is to understand our fixing system. Um, so the fixing of the, the facade panels play a big role in the durability of the facade. Um, as you can see from the table above, fiber cement has a similar movement rate to timber. So screwing fiber cement to timber is, there's, there's no problem doing that because you don't cause stress on the panels having a similar movement rate. When you do move to steel and aluminum top hats or your, your subframing top hats, um, this can cause issue with fiber cement when you screw it to these um, framing members because what happens is that you have got greater stress because you've got the steel and the aluminum moving at a far greater rate than the fiber cement um, with the expansion and contraction. And this causes cracking of the panels, uh, especially at the weak points, which is the edges of the panels. Um, so you, you, you're running the risk of, of cracking um, in these weak point areas. You know, from what we see particularly at the edges of the panels as well. So to understand how this works, um, we have basically a fixing system which allows 3D movement. Um, so you can see there, you've got two different, we, it, it's rivet fixed first and foremost into metal, um, and you've got two different rivet sleeves. So you've got the red sleeve and you've got the green sleeve. Um, the green sleeves, or go points as we refer to them, allow movement around the fixing and the red rivet sleeve or stop points sit tight into the hole created in the panel. Now, if we have a look at a full panel um, when it's installed, you can see there you've got two stop points per panel. So the two stop points is really important because A, the first stop point holds the panel into place and B, the second stop point stops the panel from wanting to spin. Um, the rest of the fixings around the panel are, all have movement allowance around the fixing itself. So the weak points, especially at your corners have movement allowance around the panel. Um, so this dramatically reduces the risk of panel cracking as well and increases durability of the system. Um, understanding the durability of Equitone also, you need to understand the system performance. So. Um, we look at the 4D design principles and what this is based off is uh, New Zealand. Um, so New Zealand experienced leaky building syndrome about 15 years ago um, and addressed this from not happening anymore. They employed the 4D design principles, which fall into line with the way Equitone is installed and performs. So what we have is we want to deflect water. 
So from the image, you can see that we want to deflect water with the cladding and flashings to keep the water out of the building as your first line of defense. Um, then we want to allow for drainage. So by creating a drainage channel behind the cladding, we allow for, for drainage for any water getting behind the facade panel to drain out of this drainage channel. The third step to this is to allow for ventilation or vapor diffused drying. Um, so allowing for ventilation and vapor diffused drying is creating a ventilated facade to eliminate any remaining moisture um, behind the panels themselves. So the ventilation will run up the wall through the stack effect and basically remove any existing moisture or water in that cavity. So it provides a nice healthy cavity um, for the occupants inside the building as well. And then finally, we want to use durable materials. So durable materials meet the demands of the conditions outside and inside. And in terms of Equitone, well, we'll discuss this a bit further, but Equitone um, is a low maintenance, high density panel, which means that there's more compression placed during the panels manufactured, which provides a harder surface. Um, Equitone is low maintenance as well. So in terms of being low maintenance, it doesn't re require uh, painting initially or in the future. So you can see the picture on the left-hand side, um, which is the high Regency project in Sydney. Um, and if you're, not, if you're not familiar with Sydney, if you're not familiar with this project, um, a lot of cars drive underneath this building in order to get to the Harbour Bridge on a daily basis. So it does incorporate or, 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 or deal with a lot of pollution on a daily basis. So the use of Equitone in this situation was used to provide a low maintenance option for a difficult access area. So in terms of trying to paint um, or seal the panels in the future, um, you know, it, it is extremely difficult because you'd have to close down that road, which would cause major disruption to the city itself. Um, so in, in terms of the use of Equitone, the low maintenance um, advantage was, was taken to full effect for this project in order to provide that in, in these areas where you, you do require something which is truly low maintenance as well. Now the picture on the right is a multi-residential project in Western Australia. Um, Equitone was used as a base before the screening was placed over the top of the facade. Uh, once again, the low maintenance nature of the panels is really important here because trying to paint or seal these panels in the future would be extremely difficult because of the screening involved in the actual project as, itself. Um, Equitone is high density. So high density, as discussed previously, there's more compression placed on the panels during manufacture, which is a really important um, aspect of your facade, especially in areas subject to, you know, high traffic areas. Um, so, um, in terms of receiving impact, whether it be from people or things like shopping trolleys, a high density panel um, is extremely important in these situations. So in terms of the, the panel itself, because it's manufactured with a higher density, so basically everything's squeezed closer together to create that higher density panel. Um, you know, you've got things like shopping trolleys, which might run into the facade um, or people bumping into the facade, um, which, the, the, the panels are able to cope with. Um, and we can look at things like also incorporating closer top hat spacings behind the panel, in, in including dummy top hats, in order to ensure that extreme impact resistance is, is given to um, the, the project itself to provide a very strong wall. Um, Equitone can be used in high wind areas. So you've got a design freedom to build in high wind areas. So the project here that we can see on the screen is in Holland. Um, and you can see that it incorporates a really high wind load area as the, the, the wind tunnel was created. Um, so the Equitone was used here in, in order to meet the requirements of this high wind load and the high density nature of the panel allow it to be used in this situation. Um, also another interesting thing interesting thing about the project as well was that it was all prefabricated and craned into position. Um, so it's another option you have with Equitone as well as prefabrication is becoming more popular in construction in Australia. You have got the design freedom to route or engrave panels as well. So once again, the through color nature of the panels and also the high density of the panels as well, allow you to create some pretty intricate detailing and routing into the panels, as you can see from the um, panel on the left-hand side, um, where you, you can produce 
you know, shapes, uh, letters, words, as they did for the um, school project on the left-hand side. Um, and then you've got the one on the right hand side, which is, has branding for the for the cafe itself, which was um, milled into the Equitone Lines panel as well. This is done through CNC machine, um, which creates the routing into the panels themselves. So um, this is all automated. We do have um, a few really good um, contractors who can do this, um, to do this routing and engraving into the panels themselves. So what this allows you to do is, is allows you to create patterns, um, wording, symbols into your facade for greater personalization um, of the facade itself. Now, in terms of routing, um, we spoke about previously, you can also perforate the panels as well. Um, so perfor perforation is similar to routing, but basically it's cut all the way through to the panels rather than onto the surface. So um, the, the high density nature and a through color nature of the panels allow this to be performed with the CNC machine. Um, so from the project, we can see the different size perforations are at play. Um, and, the, and what they do is, is that they, you know, use the light and shade on the internal covered area of this school in Victoria. So once again, you can see here that it also allows for something personalized with you in your facade as well. And also something which adds a bit of interest as well. So you can, can create custom shapes within the facade just to create some interest um, into the facade itself. Uh, Equitan can also be used on moving elements. Um, so this is outside the normal in installation of fiber cement. So, um, you know, we are, you know, we, we do wanna see things installed properly, correctly, designed properly and correctly, correctly, but we're not rigid in what we do as well. We can work on different things like this. Um, so, Working with a, a through color high density fiber cement allows you to create your vision in areas outside the traditional installation. Um, so here in this project in Germany, um, the screens blended into the facade as the same material was used throughout the facade. Um, and you can see the routing on the face of the moving elements as well, just to basically highlight these as different areas within that facade as well. Um, and we've also seen Equitone being installed as doors as well to once again, have that monolithic look all the way through the facade itself. Um, the ability to curve. Um, so high density is a lot stronger than compressed fiber cement, but the downside is it's not, it's not as curvable. So in terms of a full Equitone panel, you can achieve a 12 meter radius um, with a full size Equitone panel. Um, this project here though, or these projects here had a smaller radius than 12 meters. So the one on the left-hand side, which is the Taronga Zoo project, um, the radius here was four meters. And so from here, you can see that the, the Equitone panels were actually faceted around those, that, that, that curve um, at 400 mil uh, width pieces as well to achieve that curve facade as well. Um, so that helped meet the demand of the, the, the curve facade in that situation. Um, and also in terms of being able to use a high density, low maintenance panel on a curved area, which didn't incorporate that 12 meter radius. And also it's a great option for internal use as well. Um, so you've got design freedom to, for internal high traffic applications, such as schools, university and public buildings as well. So the high density nature of the panels are, are a good option for high traffic areas internally um, to absorb any blows to the wall with the traffic. Uh, so the through color nature of the panels also provides the same color behind the panel face. So if the panel face is damaged, um, you have got uh, the same color running through behind the, 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 throughout the panel itself as well. So this is a vast improvement to a painted or rendered wall internally because if that gets damaged, you generally see the substrate behind um, this painted or, or rendered wall, um, which would be a different color generally as well. And Equitone is also heavily focused on sustainability as well. So, um, you know, we do have, a, we, we have our own sustainability teams looking at different initiatives, sorry, different initiatives Equitone can adopt. Um, so some initiatives we've already, rolled out um, are that the, uh, the, the panels are 100% recyclable. And this is in two ways. So Equitone can be taken off buildings and installed onto new buildings 
um, due to the intelligent fixing system available. So you can take it off one facade and install it onto another one if required. Now, this is not always the case. We, we understand that as a manufacturer. So the other option as well is at the end of its surface life, Equitone can be crushed up and used as gravel for landscaping um, material as well. Uh, what we're looking at doing as well is research into less reliance on raw materials, um, which is currently being undertaken through our R&D teams in, in Belgium. So we see sand and cement as something which may not be around in 50 years. So what we're looking at doing is we're looking at ways to replace these now. Um, so there's a lot of studies being done in order to look at alternatives to sand and cement in terms of equitone production. There's the use of recycled water in equitone production. So in, in terms of our Belgian plant, um, it's founded on a canal. So what we do is we take the water out of the canal and then we clean it for production. And then while, after production is done, we clean it and then put it back into the canal. And the water which actually goes back into the canal is actually cleaner than when it gets taken out. Um, so there's, uh, you know, what we try to do is we try to look at different initiatives through our production plants. So in terms of our production offcuts, um, these are recycled back into production. Um, so in terms, I mean, it's good business to do that as well, but it also allows us to not have any wastage when it comes to our production of, of Equitone itself. So uh, the ETEX group believe in this um, quite heavily. And so there's a number of different plants, including Cineat, who do the same thing, where they have their production offcuts are recycled back into production as well. And finally, many fixings are made from sustainable and um, fully traceable aluminium and stainless steel. Um, so that basically allows, um, with our partners such as DC Tech, who manufacture our um, concealed fixed system as well, um, they have you know fully traceable aluminium. And with our stainless steel rivets as well, we have fully traceable um, and sustainable stainless steel rivets available for the project as well. We'll now move on to ventilated facades, um, and we've just got a short video to watch beforehand. The ETEX group of companies provides a comprehensive range of facade claddings to fit all shapes and sizes of buildings. These claddings are used as a rain screen. Rain screen, which is also referred to as a ventilated facade, is a kind of two-stage construction, an inner structure with a protective outer skin. This skin protects the structure against the elements. With the placing of the insulation on the outer face of the structure, rain screen also meets the challenges of modern construction in terms of preventing thermal bridges, dissipating solar gain, reducing thermal movement of the structure, resisting moisture and humidity, preventing internal condensation. By using our panels as the protective outer skin, we also give the buildings the added feature of looking good. Rain screen is ideal for use in both new buildings and renovation projects. The drained and back ventilated technique is the simplest form of rain screen and is favoured in Europe. It consists of a thin and pervious flat sheet fixed to a supporting frame which forms a clear cavity between the panels and the insulation. The joints can be open or lightly baffled. The special thing about the drained and back ventilated approach is that the cladding is allowed to leak. Any water that may penetrate the joints and enter the cavity behind the cladding is quickly evaporated through the natural ventilation in the cavity or by draining down the back of the panels and out of the base of the wall. In driving rain conditions, the moisture forms a membrane across the joints, which keeps most rainwater on the outside of the panel. Scientific testing carried out by FVHF from Germany has shown that the amount of driving rain that ever reaches the face of the insulation is minimal. 
The effectiveness of any rain screen system can be checked by standing at the base of a large installation in the driving rain and observing how little water emerges from behind the rain screen cladding. In addition to the outer skin, a number of other elements need to come together. Starting from the inside, the internal structural wall can be of masonry or lightweight construction. It needs to be airtight and to withstand the wind loads that will be placed on the building. The insulation thick enough to suit the building's function should also be suitable for rain screen use. Ideally, the insulation should be fireproof and permeable to allow any water vapour to pass from inside the building into the cavity. This needs to be securely fixed to the structure and fit tightly around the supporting frame. The supporting frame should be designed to carry the panels and a certain amount of wind loading. This supporting frame is commonly of aluminium, galvanised steel or timber battens. The ventilated cavity should be of adequate size to provide both air movement to evaporate moisture and vapour and a drainage path for water to run down the rear of the panels and out at the bottom of the cladding. Air must be allowed to enter at the base, travel unobstructed up the wall and exit at the top of the building. Now for the physics bit. By placing the insulation on the outer face of the structure results in a number of benefits for the building. Notably, in wintertime it keeps the building warm and the cold air is prevented from affecting the building structure. In summer, the ventilated rain screen has a cooling effect when outside temperatures are high. Most of the sun's rays are reflected away from the building. Heat that passes through the panel is partially dissipated by the ventilating effect in the cavity. An additional benefit in controlling temperature is that the structural movement of the building is minimised. Acoustic performance of the wall is increased when compared to other forms of construction. In conventional construction with internal insulation, the thermal shield has weak spots where the floor meets the wall. These are called thermal or cold bridges. This results in heat loss and can cause surface condensation which can lead to mould growth. By having the insulation on the outer face of the wall, it can be easily mounted without interruptions. Therefore, any thermal bridges are eliminated. The rain screen system is very efficient in controlling condensation. Any risk of interstitial condensation occurs in the ventilated cavity. The breathable structure allows water vapour to pass through the construction from the inside into the ventilated cavity. All of this results in a greater degree of comfort for the occupants and ensures a healthy building. Climate change is of course a big issue. As you have just seen, rain screen is most suitable in meeting the demands in many climates. The drained and ventilated rain screen that we promote does not need the use of any special sealants and relies on simple techniques to work. Tougher standards and regulations can easily be met with rain screen. Rain screen is adaptable and will meet the needs of any changes in architecture, fashion or construction methods. ETEX has been at the fore of rain screen development for many decades and has built up a vast knowledge. Its panels have been successfully used in many projects in many different climates the world over. We offer cladding solutions to fit all shapes and sizes of buildings that ensure the screen is lightweight, strong, durable, excellent resistance to fire, frost-proof, resistance to fungi and insects, minimal maintenance, and is also aesthetically pleasing. Just because its primary purpose is to serve as a rain screen, there is no reason why it can't look good too. So to recap, um, the build-up of the ventilated facade, you have the weather type backing wall. So this could be framing or masonry um, with your weather barrier um, before the insulation is attached. So the insulation must be suitable for an exterior use and a ventilated facade. So we can assist with this if required. Um, then you've got your air cavity for ventilation, which is created by the adjustable bracket subframing as well. So once again, we can assist with all, 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 all the, the buildup as well. And then you've got your outer skin or your cladding material, uh, which is your cladding panel, which provides the final aesthetics to the wall. 
Um, so in terms of the ventilator facades, there's many benefits as we heard into the video. So what we have here is we have structural benefits as the ventilator facade acts as a, a jacket to the building. So this keeps it at a more stable temperature, um, thus reducing the risk of cracking building materials internally due to uh, additional expansion and contraction. So you've got a much more stable temperature behind that ventilator facade. You also have thermal benefits as well. Um, so you've got the ventilator facade, which can provide an energy saving to the building of you know, over 40% as well. So there is thermal benefits for the building as well. Um, you also have acoustic build benefits as well. So um, the ventilator facade acts as a barrier for noise. So the exterior noise pollution can be reduced by up to eight decibels or 20% with the use of a ventilator facade. And that's just because you know, the ventilation in the cavity combined with the insulation um, dissipates that acoustic gain within the building itself. And you've got lower energy use. So we looked at the ventilator facade being able to provide energy savings of um, over 40%. So this is because there's, you know, you don't require as much heating and cooling for the, for the building um, as you would with traditional construction. So this translates to the, the cost savings to the client at the end of the day as well. Um, you've got healthy buildings. So by creating the ventilator facade, um, you've got the you know, healthy ventil ventilated cavities help prevent moisture um, and condensation forming, um, which leads to mold growth internally. So as we can see from the video, the, any, in, any moisture or condensation moves through your vapor permeable building materials into the ventilated facade cavity and out of the building as well. So this uh, stops it from eventually settling within the building and leading to mold growth. And you've got something which is low maintenance as well. So a ventilator facade is uh, low maintenance because it's considerably reduces or eliminates the need for exposed sealing or caulking. So as we know with silicon or sealant, um, you know, this eventually deteriorates over time um, and causes maintenance issues. Um, there's no reliance on that with a ventilator facade. So finally, we'll look at some of the resources as well. So in terms of, you know, different resources we have available. Um, we've got the Equitone brochure, which goes through different the different finishes, as well as the material sampler, which has the different colors and finishes in the range. Uh, we've got the white paper. So the white paper speaks really well um, about the advantages to the client um, of using Equitone. Um, so it's really good to assist in pre presenting to different clients in terms of why the material was chosen chosen and what benefits it gives to the client for the facade itself. Um, we've got different installation and construction guides as well, which has all the tested weatherproofing systems available as well. So it goes through the different detailing as well. Um, we've got the maintenance guide. So the maintenance guide as well, just talks about the maintenance of the panels um, as, as you go through the, the panels or, or facade's life cycle as well. Um, of course, the samples, um, we, we do have samples available and they're very important in terms of what we do because, you know, it, you, you're not going to rely on colours that you see on the screen. Um, we're available to um, provide samples and, and pick up mould samples at any time. And then you've got the Equitone website as well. So um, in terms of having different information available, having all these documents available on there as well. Um, so that's just some of the many resources we do have as, as well at our, at our disposal in order to support the project and make sure it's designed and installed properly. Um, I think we'll now move on to questions, Michael. Sounds great. I've got a number here, Mark, uh, that have come through. And look, we have 13,000 members, as you know, here at the Institute, many working across different types of building styles and designs. Uh, one of the questions I have for you, Mark, is on what kind of buildings would you use Equitone? Yeah, so Equitone can be, can be used on all buildings. Um, where Equitone provides a real distinct advantage is when the client wants to hold onto the asset for a long time. So if you've got something like a school or a hospital or a shopping centre, the combination of the ventilated facade, uh, the durability and low maintenance means that the client is continually saving money for the facade the older it gets. Um, and with a life expectancy of 60 plus years, um, it, it is a lot of saving for the client. 
Great, thank you. Um, now, what are the benefits of the ventilated rain screen facade system? Yeah, so as we've seen throughout the presentation, the ventilated facade is truly a low maintenance system. Um, as it doesn't rely on any silicon or sealants to be maintained through the use of, of, of that um, walling system. So coupled with this, you have the advantages of the dissipating solar gain, which is through the ventilation in the cavity, dissipating that solar gain, getting into the building itself, which is, you know, parts of Northern Australia is really important in summer. Um, and the elimination of the thermal breaks as well, due to the insulation running continuously up the wall. So the, you know, you're not having, um, paths for heat to get into the building as well. Um, mm. So combined with this, the vapor permeable wall allowing condensation and, and moisture to escape out of the building as well. Probably my favorite part of the ventilated facade is that it creates a healthy building, um, which is you know direct impact on, on everyone's life because you've got different different diseases which sort of relate to mold growth and formation within the building itself. Mm. And especially as we exit out of the COVID nineteen pandemic. Healthy buildings, healthy interiors uh, are really critical to uh, architects in that design process. Tell me, Mark, what's one of the most common misconceptions about Equitone? Yeah, so, so something we hear um, is that Equitone is too expensive. Um, so this misconception, I think, exists because the comparison is not a like-for-like -like facade panel. Um, when you do a like-for-like -like facade comparison and we're available for here to assist in doing that, um, you'll see that the if you combine the panel pricing with the advantages and cost savings to the client, we have highlighted through the presentation, um, the Equitone is extremely cost competitive and furthermore provide a more cost competitive option um, at the end of its life expectancy due to the durability, low maintenance and the ventilated facade and the quality of the panel itself. Great stuff. And, and how does Equitone differ from, say, a lot of other through colour facade panels? Yeah, so I think a really important part there is the support. So, you know, through colour facade materials are still relatively new in the Australian market. So um, the support there in order to ensure that successful design all the way through to a successful installation exists um, is, is extremely important um, in a successful project. So we have our own team to support the projects all the way through from design to completion. Um, so we offer design reviews throughout the project to ensure the facade is designed properly. We also offer training throughout the project as well to ensure that the facade is installed properly. Um, this is really important because it ensures warranty conditions are met. Um, and, and, and this applies with any manufacturer. So, you know, you can get manufacturers out there saying, we'll give you a 20 year warranty, we'll give you a 30 year warranty, but if the material isn't installed as per specification or as per um, the way it's designed, you don't get that warranty anyway. So the support's more important than the warranty terms, if it's sort of that makes sense. Um, besides the Equitone, um, sorry, sorry, besides this, Equitone was one of the first manufacturers of through color, high density fiber cement panels. So we've had the opportunity to perfect this over time. And so the panels received are of the utmost quality. Um, and finally, being manufactured in Belgium and Germany, having stock in the country is extremely important, which is why we work with our distributors to ensure that they carry stock in the country to support the projects. So we generally see, you know, approximately 40,000 square meters of stock on the shelf at any one time, um, and the ability to order it in from Belgium or Germany to support the project. Great stuff. Now, you talked earlier about, you know, this country that we live in, uh, you know, we're facing a whole range of different sort of climate disasters from time to time. Does Equitone have UV or colour stability? Yeah, so the the, um, the facade panels are subject to real life and accelerated wear, weathering tests to ensure a high UV and ageing performance level as well. So, um, you know, you, it, you can sort of always tell the new um, architects you speak to because that's sort of the most critical thing in their mind is that well how does the UV um, behave so we have our in-house paint manufacturing units based in France and Germany um, so these are specialists in fiber cement paint technology and allow us to have full control over the quality of our paints um, so in co cooperation with our innovation technology center um, our R&D department and our paint units develop and test all coatings and pigments used within our panels um, so we conduct our own long-term aging and durability tests as well on the coatings and provide um, addresses to real life projects to ensure that the ex expectations are met. So, you know, 
we can show you, we can point you out to a project. We can let you know the age of it. We can give you an original sample and you can actually go check yourself um, as well in terms of the UV and the color stability um, available. Oh, that sounds really great and, and quite an interesting feature and an offer, um, which I'm sure our members would be interested in. I suppose just one final question, if, if our members are keen to find out more, what's the best website address for them to go and have a look at Equitone? Yeah, so if they go to equitone.com.au, um, I've also uh, got here um, my details as well. Um, but yeah, equitone.com.au as well in order to go check out the information on the site. You can also... Um, fill out contact forms as well. And we, we you know, we, our service is something we pride ourselves on. So, you know, we generally try to get back to everyone within 24 to 48 hours. Um, you can order samples, ask questions, look at different pricing and various things like that. That's great. Awesome. Well, thanks very much for spending some time with us today. Of course, everybody, uh, if you're watching, uh, this has been Mark Zangari, uh, our specification and sales manager for New South Wales and Queensland, but supporting Australia-wide, of course. Um, and if you do want to get into contact with Mark, then it is just mark.zangari at etexgroup.com. Thanks again for showing us what the Equitone range can offer our members, Mark. We really appreciate you um, spending some time with us today. No problem, Michael. Thank you for having me. Absolute pleasure. So that's it for our showcase session today. As always, I've been Michael Linky here at the Institute of Architects. Great to have you with me and look forward to seeing you online again at another showcase session very soon. Have a great day.